What is going on guys? This is Joss here and today we are here for a vlog that I've been wanting to do all year now and that is an NPL vlog. This year I was planning on going to an NPL game every single weekend that the A-League wasn't on and so far, well I've, I've been to none. So what we are doing today is I am heading down to Wollongong to watch the preliminary final, the final, the loser's final, to get into the game at Bankwest Stadium, the NPL New South Wales Grand Final next weekend. And I'm pretty excited to go see this game considering I was down there a couple of weeks ago for Sydney FC playing a friendly there and the Wollongong Wolves fans turned up on a Wednesday night in massive numbers so I'm hoping the same thing can happen again this weekend. I'm going to be, I guess, rooting for Wollongong to win. Is that the best use of the word rooting? For me, yes. Uh, I'm not going to buy a scarf or anything because, I mean, this is my fourth or fifth Wollongong game. But I've been down in down to Wollongong a couple of times and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. First game I went to when I cared about Sydney FC, that was in Wollongong. I got drunk there for the first time after losing the Champions League final in 2018 there when we went and played an NPL game down there. And then... I went down there a couple of weeks ago and saw Adam LaFondra score a worldie. So, I'm going to go down there. I, I'm going to finally see an NPL game before the grand final as well, so I'm not bandwagoning on. Uh, let's go. Day ones, day ones, no time for fake ones. Got me, I got you. All dreams, they come true. Stay down till the end. Need me, I need them. Whole team go. Time for fake friends. Yeah. Too many people be calling my phone, but I never be picking it up. Got everyone that I need in my circle, I never be going to switching it up. Rocking with the people who be following me when I never thought it would have happened and I never got love. Now they want to piggyback on everything I got. I never knew one from the bottom, but now I've had enough. Please stay away, find a new hobby. All right, people, I'm in Dagong and I've got the, the main reason that I'm coming down here Indian kebab. They fucked it. They fucked it up so bad. Last time it was really good. They had like multiple ingredients on it. They were all like pretty well blended. This time it's just butter chicken in a um, in a roll of bread, which is not. I mean, it's pleasant, but it's not what I wanted. So I'm pretty disappointed with that. The last time I got one of these, it was like 10 out of 10. This time, four out of 10. It's like literally nothing but butter chicken on a bit of bread. Come on, you can do better than that. It's like they, they forgot how to make it. Last time they made it, so much different. Really disappointed. Look at this shit. Fuckers didn't even wrap it properly. To dry. I can forget, but I never forget. Money is power, but care about respect. If you've been focused on credit or debit, then I'ma pay you a reality check. Some of the richest be feeling depressed. Material shit don't compare to the rest. I move around with my real ones, making memories worth millions. Goddamn, part of the plan. Do what I do when I do it for them. 7 a.m. and I'm going to bed. I can't let the competition get ahead. I've been going like I never got to win. I want to stop it. I've been thinking about the people who be talking about their love, it. and I know I gotta keep on winning. Never gonna give it to the negative energy, cause I gotta go again. All right, in the ground now. Um, not not too many people here. It's less than a thousand, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, there's a bunch of people still buying tickets. I saw a, a proper busload of Sydney United fans turn up, so I'm hoping they have a little bit of away support, which is just behind the camera. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty disappointing turnout right now. But I mean, yeah, it'll, it'll still be pretty good, hopefully. But uh, yeah, ten, 10 minutes away from kickoff, uh, attendance is disappointing me. The atmosphere will probably disappoint me due to the attendance, but eh.
was a fucking blighting pen. journey back begins now I'm not sure if I tapped off when I uh, when I got got here so I'm gonna go see if I tapped off or not don't know what happens if I if I didn't tap off I mean I, I still get home I'm not gonna die here because I didn't tap off but um, yeah I'm gonna go check if I I tapped off or maybe tap on I just gotta tap it and see but uh, then then we return back to Sydney after a pretty awesome game yes we did tap off
And wow, how fun was that? You may not know because you weren't there, but I was there and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it as far as watching a game as a neutral goes. It's it's probably one of my better experiences. I mean, I haven't, haven't watched many as a neutral, but that is definitely up there with the LA Derby, the first ever LA Derby, as uh, one of my favorite games to go to, which I, I wasn't expecting to, to say. Uh, Wollongong Wolves fans, they were pretty quiet. There were a lot of them, and when they scored, yeah. But uh, other than that, they weren't even really jeering for a goal towards the end. But uh, Sydney United fans, man, they they showed up, and they, they started off a little bit quiet. But once they got the goal, it was like any A-League active support or any A-League away section where... They were just making noise, getting behind their team. And, I mean, you, you saw the pitch invasion. You saw the flares. You don't get that in the A-League. And I'm not here to say A-League plastic, NPL good. I'm just, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, as for the quality of football, that was also really good. I didn't, like, ever really say, oh, this is terrible, unwatchable football. It seemed very good. Both teams seemed quite evenly matched. Wollongong were probably the better footballing side, but they they just didn't have anything in the final third. And then Sydney United, I mean, they, they weren't that good, but they were rough, they were determined, and they, they just pulled it out of their asses, and it was amazing to see. So... Yeah, I'm excited to see how Sydney United do in the grand final and then also against Wanderers on Wednesday. But amazing atmosphere, good good football on the field. I'm super glad I went. This ticket is going straight in my scrapbook, which I can't show you guys because my name's plastered everywhere. And then also I got this uh, free match program, which I, I like. I mean, it's, it's mostly advertising, but then there's some awesome... awesome not awesome, but you know, some some writing in it there in there as well. So yeah, it's good to bring home some of those paper souvenirs. But uh thank you all for watching. I hope to do more NPL vlogs next season, and hopefully they're as good as that because that was unexpected. But other than that, I will see you guys next time I make a video. Bye-bye.